Hi guys, I'm Natalie. I'm Melindy, and this is Wedding Advice by Pink Book. Melins, your wedding was beautiful. Your decor was just perfect. perfect. Well, I had an amazing decor company. Um, I felt so comfortable on my day. They were just perfect. Everything ran smoothly, and that is so important for your special day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this video, watch this video for um, some tips from industry experts on how to book your decor company, what to look out for, terms and conditions to ensure you have an amazing day. Don't forget to leave your comments below. We want to hear from you. Tell us what you think of the video. Tell us what else you'd like to see. And enjoy the video. <laughs> yeah, and happy, happy planning. planning. The process is quite intimidating for somebody who has no idea when they're starting to plan a wedding. So my advice would always be invest in a coordinator, invest in a really good coordinator. They're going to in introduce you at the end of the day to incredible people or incredible suppliers who's going to actually fit what you need specifically. So they will know exactly where to go for a specific look and feel. So normally how, how our process works is we, we receive an inquiry. Um, usually that is sometimes from, from a bride that has no idea what she sort of wants. She has perhaps a budget in mind um, for, for a lot of other things. Um, and then when we initially start the conversation of, okay, well, you know, this is actually what, what, what it sounds like you're needing. And then they sometimes are very overwhelmed and then it's always nice to sort of set up a meeting. Um, that's also easier in terms of reading people and understanding them and because sometimes things get lost in email, uh, a, a personality gets lost and that's what you sort of want to capture at the end of the day. So make the contact, spend time with these people, it's also for your wedding. So you want everything to sort of be easier on the day, you don't have to worry about things. So come, come have a look, come see how we do things, um, just engage in the pieces, come and sit on the things if you want to, you know, and then pick a colour palette and we fit it in accordingly. So we will always start with basic requirements, maybe furniture, ceremony, um, seating for the ceremony, um, then from, from there we go to the pre-drinks, sort of speak about that, we figure that out, we work on a layout, um, and then obviously the main reception and the after party, if that is a thing. And then from there we go back to the drawing board, we make designs, we sort of make suggestions, we put it in a costing. And then at the end of the day it's just about your aesthetic. And then you're going to go onto somebody's website, for instance, your car see, and you're going to see, okay, wow, maybe this is just, I want some of that, but I don't really know about that. You know, and then you're going to go into scapes things and you're going to see, oh wow, you know, it's sort of like very sleek and cool and, you know, fresh and, you know, so it's all depending on, on what your style is at the end of the day. When season hits, it's, um, it's, it can get manic. So um, I would suggest for any couple to sort of at least book or just try and think about things a year in advance, um, especially when you're getting married in the winelands um, over, over the summer. Yeah, so costings, um, that's also, it's depending on a lot of things, especially a look and feel, the location, where it is. Um, but on general, you, you can get a really nice lounge pocket for at least three and a half grand. And then it will be something really special and personally styled and beautifully taken care of and all set up and done and dusted. What we get a lot is why is the logistical charge so much? And then we always said, but somebody is actually loading the things in a truck and that truck is driving <laughs> towards your venue, offloading it, packing it out, styling it, helping unwrap everything, clean if there's something that needed to be cleaned and come and fetch that again. <laughs> so there's obviously costs involved. So people always, um, for some other reason, question that, which is sort of interesting. Obviously, everybody's human and things happen. Um, there is a spillage, there is something that gets damaged or scratched or whatever. Um, but that, that we don't charge upfront uh, because everything that we sent out is sort of in top-notch condition. And then if something does happen, for instance, a marble piece breaks or something, there's always a conversation that happens afterwards. Um, we always try to understand like, what happened with it. Was it, was it, did it happen in transit? Was it um, some other <laughs> drunk person? <laughs> uh, 
at, um, at the party or whatever. So we sort of try and figure that out and we have a conversation about that. When it comes to signing a space for, for a wedding is things are, are curated, uh, things are considered. Um, it's not just sort of the old way of doing things where you have two chairs, one um, a couch, an ottoman and a side table. There's things you can play with, um, there's shapes that you can put together. You don't have to necessarily use a coffee table just for a surface area. You get beautiful things that's multiverse style that can actually function as seating as well. And that's sort of the way that you sort of build things on top of each other. And that's why small things are important. It's like a beautiful carpet where you can put something on there and it just makes it easy looking to the eye. And uh, then there's obviously smaller things, uh, smaller detail like scented candles for instance. That makes a massive difference because it, ma it makes you think of something. And um, now you're sitting in this beautiful space and you smell oot or lavender and it makes you feel something. It's not just functional in a way, it's also romantic almost. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for some new content. Ring that bell if you want to get some notifications when we post new videos. And if there's anything you'd like to see, please comment down below. Until next time, happy, happy planning! planning.